Well, hello everybody, it's Ashley, and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing some foiling, and I'm really excited because this is new to my channel. I have not done foiling on the channel before. I am really excited to incorporate it into more of my cards. I love the look of it, and it's really actually very simple once you have the right supplies. So to start, I asked some of my crafty friends what I needed, what supplies I needed to do foiling, and number one on most of their lists was this Deco Foil Transfer Gel from Thermoweb, and I'm really excited to say that it's really easy to use. I was a little bit intimidated to start, but I love that it's very much like texture paste or like embossing paste, so it's very much like a product that I've already used and that I'm really familiar with. So I'm going to be using this Hero Arts stencil and the Deco Foil Transfer Gel together to create this really intricate and beautiful design that I'm able to foil. And I am also going to stretch my supplies and you'll see I also use the negative of the foil itself. So I get two cards from one go round with the uh, Deco Foil Transfer Gel and the stencil. So that's always really good when you can get more for your money and use your product wisely so that you can just get lots of uses out of it. So to adhere the cardstock to the stencil, because I don't, or I didn't at the time, have a low tack adhesive spray, which I do suggest getting. It's also pretty affordable and it's at Joann's or Michael's, anywhere that you shop. Um, but I used a low tack uh, painter's tape and I adhered the cardstock to the back of this stencil. And I did it on the back because I didn't want the stencil or the design to be impeded by any of that tape. So now I'm able to get the entire design across the entire front of my cardstock. I'm using this craft knife to just pick up a little bit of the transfer gel and then adhere it evenly over the front of the cardstock. And I'm able to put the excess right back into the jar, which is nice. Once I've done, and once I'm done and I've finished, I'm going to go ahead and take off that stencil and the painter's tape and put it aside to dry. Once it's dry, it will look really shiny and it'll be really hard. Also, if you get it on anything else in your craft space, I recommend picking it up and wiping it up immediately. This stuff will dry like cement, basically. So it's really, really helpful when you can pick it up when it's wet. I'm going to go ahead and put this through my laminator. I have a really basic Amazon basics laminator and I'm going to put the, I actually have a foil transfer sheet, which is sort of like an acetate, um, but you can also use parchment paper and I'm going to put the cardstock into my transfer sheet and I'm going to put the foil facing up so that you see the shiny side. Once I go ahead and put that through, the foil is going to adhere to the transfer gel, and I'm gonna go ahead and speed this up because it does take quite a while. Um, it doesn't really go this fast, and I put it through twice just to make sure that that foil will stick to that transfer gel and transfer correctly, and that way I have a nice solid transfer of the foil and the design. I also want to mention that I put my setting on five milliliter millimeters rather than three millimeters, and I'm not sure if it gets hotter that way or what, but it worked really wonderfully for what I was doing. So here is the reveal. We get this really beautiful pattern and it's super shiny and foily and I absolutely love it. Just look how amazing that transfer gel took on the foil. I can't believe it. So you'll see that I have also the negative here and I'm going to be using that as well. And that way I get two cards using the same piece of foil and that's really stretching your supplies there and it looks absolutely beautiful. So you can see that I showed that um, permanent spray adhesive and I'm just giving it a little shake here. I am making sure to put my piece of cardstock in a box because this stuff is super sticky and will stick everywhere. And this is just a piece of four and a quarter by five and a half cardstock. And I'm going to go ahead and adhere my 
negative foil right over this piece of cardstock. Now I've used a spray adhesive because if you try to use the glue, the lines or the design that you put the glue onto the cardstock is going to show through on that foil and you don't want to do that. So you want to make sure that you get it as flat as possible and spray adhesive really works well when you're trying to do something like that. So I just try to get it as straight as I possibly can. It does remain a little bit sort of like repositionable for just a moment, but it's pretty easy to get it on there straight. If I can do it, you can do it, I promise. And I'm just going to take this super big acrylic block and put it right over that piece of cardstock so that it can rest and dry uh, straight and flat. And to prep for my other card, I am taking the positive of that negative that you just uh, saw me use and I am trimming it down to four by five and a quarter inches. And now jumping back over to that negative card, you'll see that it's nice and adhered. I am slightly off center there, but that's okay. I'm going to use my wire trimmer again, just to trim off all of the excess foil. You could definitely do this with a, a pair of scissors, but I just happen to like the wire trimmer for this. And I'm trimming this down quite a bit. I'm using three and three quarters by five inches. And I'm going to, of course, end up adhering this to an A2 size card base, but I'm using Altenew's Label Love Sentiment set for my sentiment because I really love this set. I love the way that these, these look like labels and I just really absolutely love um, the sentiments in it as well. So I play around with where I'd like that and how I want to adhere it to my card base and I decide to adhere it to a slightly larger piece of black cardstock and I think that this will play well on the black label sentiment that I've just put there at the top uh, half of my card front. So now I'm going to adhere this all to a piece, I'm sorry, to an A2 sized card base. And you can see just the slightest bit of that black cardstock uh, peeking out there from the back. And since I didn't do too much technique wise with the first pattern that I showed or the positive of the foil, I'm just going to go ahead and show you the end result. I went ahead and heat embossed wishing you a dazzling day sentiment onto a piece of black cardstock. And I went ahead and trimmed that down and put that rectangle sentiment strip on top of a slightly larger rose gold metallic piece of paper or cardstock. And then I used that as my sentiment, putting that right into the center of the card front and adhered it all to an A2 size card base. And as you can see here, I got two really individual cards, just from one go around with the deco foil transfer gel and uh, putting the foil through the laminator. And I really love that you can stretch your supplies here and make two individual cards that are really beautiful. As always, the links to all of the products that I used are in the description, as well as links to my Pinterest, Instagram, blog, and all of that fun stuff. Thank you so much for stopping by, and I will see you very soon. Thank you. Bye.